Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back. Sorry, I've been busy. Um, we did some camping this summer and I was busy at work and wrapping all these soaps. So I just wanted to share with you guys an update. Um, my shop will be opening August 1st for those who've been waiting patiently. I'm just gonna go through and kind of show a little bit of my soaps here and how they looked wrapped. So up here I have candy cane. Um, this drawer looks pretty empty. Um, to be honest, these drawers look super full when I had them like spaced out a little bit when they were drying, kind of like this one here. Um, this one I didn't get wrapped yet. I ran out of those little um, shrink wrapper bags, but I did get some of this stuff wrapped. So here's what my candy cane one ended up looking like wrapped. I still have to stick my stickers on here, but I, I'm really happy with how professional these look. So I got candy cane. Um, here's some black raspberry. These ones aren't wrapped yet. Love Spell. I'm super excited about this one. Here's how cute it looks. These smell amazing. Then we have uh, some black raspberry here. Um, I have kind of two shades of black raspberry. Um, this one turned out a little bit more darker purple. And this one turned out lighter purple. And I do believe I have the darker purple one in the photo on my Etsy website. But don't be surprised if you receive a lighter purple one. I really don't think it matters being they're both purple. Um, but yeah. They both look really nice. Um, here's cucumber melon. And I only have this much. So if you guys are interested, when my shop opens, better hurry up and order that one. Um, I didn't realize I didn't make as much of this one. And again, it did look more like I had more when the drawers were fuller. So get that while you still can. I don't think I'll be remaking any more of the cucumber melon this year, being summer's almost over. And then I have a big drawer full of the oatmeal, milk, and honey. This turned out amazing. Each bar looks different. But yeah, that took a lot of work. Shrimp, shrimp wrapping all these. So much time, but totally worth it. I really like how they look. I still have to shrink wrap the cotton blossom. Um, which is the blue top. And then this one um, turned out way different. It is still Cotton Blossom, but I'm, I'm probably going to take a separate picture of that one once I sell out all of that one. Just because I know you guys are going to want the blue one. Um, here's Ocean Mist. And more Cotton Blossom over there. Still have to wrap those. Spiced apple, which turned out absolutely divine. It makes your mouth water every time you smell it. Um, this one has no coloring in it. For those of you who are interested in that. I really think it looks like an apple color as well, so I was happy with that. I got all that side wrapped, and I still have to wrap this side. Here's my angel wings. This one turned out really nice as well. Got two rows wrapped, still have to do one. I thought I'm, I noticed I was running out of shrink wrapper, so I thought I might as well shrink wrap some of them. Um, here's what that one looks like. Some bars have more color, some have less. Um, so it's kind of a surprise when you order. But all my soaps really do smell amazing. They're all natural and organic. Like There's nothing better than what you could put on your skin than what you could with these. Um, you're not putting any strange chemical on your skin. Um, here's my pr frosted pine. I'll get more into what's in my soaps here in a minute. This one is by far one of my favorites. I don't know. this. I thought this was going to be more of a manly scent. But I love how this smells. Probably because I'm a sucker for Christmas. I'm just trying to find one here that has more color in it. So here's what those look like. These smell um, just like a Christmas tree. The fragrance is ah, frosted pine. Those turned out so good. Um, and those, there's, I'm working on something there and then samples on the bottom. 
so yeah, that's where I'm at right now for those who've been interested. I got a more I got a majority of it wrapped, so I have some work to do. But yes, as for the ingredients, I use all organic ingredients. Um, organic coconut oil, uh, organic palm oil, castor oil, fragrance oil. There's lye in there, but obviously that disintegrates over sitting over time. Water and makeup powder. So yeah, I really have been enjoying my soaps. I have been using these. They make your skin absolutely super soft. And I do use 100% silk in my soaps, which is something that a lot of soap makers don't use. Silk is super expensive, but I love the silky feeling that you get when you wash your hands with it. Um, this recipe I got from someone in my family who kind of retired from her soap um, making business. And she was kind enough to sell me her stuff. And she gave me her recipe, which I'm using right here. Um, although I'm doing things a little bit different than she did. She never put coloring in her soaps. Um, I love doing swirling. She kind of had more of a flatter bar of soap than me. Um, I like kind of textured. Um, so I'm going to see how this goes. She got really lucky and sold about 10,000 bars of soap a year. So this is a really, really good recipe. Um, I'm so excited for you guys to try these. And I'm just so excited to see how these sell because if they do, I'm just going to be like head over heels because my dream would be to get about at least four more of these soap racks and then just line them up um, through this whole room and just have so many varieties for you guys to enjoy. But yeah, I'm starting off small here. You can find these at Ikea, those racks if you guys are interested. Um, those are actually two racks put together with zip ties. Um, not too expensive. But yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys for updates. Comment, comment down below if you guys have any questions for me or just want to comment on my soaps. I am making, I'm going to be making more of the candy cane soap soon and it will be done in time for Christmas. Um, and I do pl try to plan on making it a little bit more red this time. I don't know what happened there. It kind of turned pink. But I do want to sell these out too. Um, they're just as good. They smell super strong and amazing. But I'm just so excited to experiment to see what I can do better with the candy cane swirl. And I also do have another Christmas luxury specialty soap in mind. It is going to cost a bit extra because I'm going to put a lot of extra time um, in it and a lot more creativity. I'm thinking it's going to be like a sugar plum pink glittery soap with like a lot of whipped kind of whipped cream looking on top and like just a bunch of colorfulness. So, And it's probably going to be, I'd say at least this high where my pointer finger is so it's gonna be a lot bigger bar too so I'm really excited for that like extra luxury bar I'll give you updates about that but I hope you guys are enjoying your day I hope you guys enjoyed this update I'm so excited to launch this it's been my dream um, if this goes far which I'm hoping it will I'd love to open up my own little soap shop in a town and see how well it does and even hire some workers but that's just a dream right now and with you guys purchasing it really helps support my company um, and just even watching these videos helps me so spread the word keep me in mind and I'll be sure to update you guys when my soap shop opens see you guys next time please subscribe bye